Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy is the first in an iconic series of platform video games that was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2001 and would be developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. And this game would be the first in what is quite possibly considered to be one of the best gaming franchises of all time, as this game was also developed by the same company that created the iconic Crash Bandicoot series way back in the early days of the PlayStation. And the game also fell in line with other developers developers with the likes of the iconic Ratchet and Clank series among many others that would have seen and been highlighted during the days of the PS2. And while 3D platforming games were quite popular on the PS1, the PS2 would definitely take these games and ideas to a whole new level to a point that these games would become extremely popular and some of them were even adapted into movie iterations as well because of the popularity. So the game follows the two characters with Jack and his friend Dax who ends up being transformed into some form of hybrid Ozel or Weasel by falling into a pool of what's called Dark Eco and then the goal is to figure out a way of how to transform him back so you go through a journey of trying to save the world alongside of trying to find a cure to stop evil from overtaking the land so you have to complete a variety of different missions and mini games and challenges to upgrade your character's abilities and also to unlock additional extras within the game and explore different hidden secrets while telling the game's story along the way. The game itself would receive critical success and claim upon its release, selling more than 2 million copies in the United States alone as of its release, and for its time was considered to be one of the best looking visually impressive games on the PlayStation 2 during that time period. And this series of games is still just as popular today, so much so that it got remastered editions on the likes of the PS3 and the PS4, with HD remasters on modern consoles bringing the ideas of the game to a whole new and modern generation of gamers and the game really is just as popular today and is right there up there with the likes of the Ratchet and Clank series which is again another fantastic and epic series also that began life on the PS2. It just adds so much dynamics to these style of platformers and the one cool thing about the likes of Jack and Daxter even with Ratchet and Clank even when you compare it to PS1 and even Sega Saturn style 3D platformers while they were good in their own right the one thing that these type of platformers started to do really well and only like Crash Bandicoot before it had managed to achieve that was the really good storytelling and the voice acting in the games. These type of games almost had a movie style quality to them and in many ways you felt like you were playing or being part of an interactive movie. That's how good these games were. As everything was pretty much on key you had great gameplay mechanics, good camera aesthetics, great voice acting and just the whole experience was definitely very well put together and so much so that it presented two further sequels in the franchise alongside of a spin-off racing game so that'll tell you how popular that it is and the fact is that it got HD remasters on modern consoles even proves to the point that the it's just as successful today as it's ever been and the Jack and Daxter franchise has gone down in history as being one of the most iconic games franchises ever in video games as not only does it have great storytelling the one thing that's really cool about these games is its sense of humor like if you've ever played Ratchet and Clank and I, I love that game as well and I played that years ago go to and the one thing they do really well it kind of puts you in mind of the likes of the old school Toy Story movies even though the concept is aimed at children but the whole dynamic around it is more appealing to even ages of pretty much any type of generation because the characters the content the, the words that they say the jokes and the humour even though it looks like it's aimed at children in a lot of ways it is but it isn't because there's a lot of quips and gags in it that only adults would get and in some cases some of the jokes would be more adult themed but you wouldn't even know it because they can play it off so well because it looks like that it is aimed at children but it's really not and Jack and Daxter and even Ratchet and Clank do that as well and that's what makes them so iconic but at the same time so funny is that the writing due to the storytelling and the acting the one liners the timing of the jokes is hilarious even when you're playing this game yes it presents an enjoyable experience but you will have so many laughs and so many funny moments in these games just down to the silly elements that happen throughout the story especially with the characters because they're so out there and so energetic that it just leaves you 
you just be in fits laughing throughout the whole experience and that's what draws you in because it's the type of game that really gets you behind the character because the, the writing is so well and there's so much humor in the game and you will just laugh your head off as you're playing it you get a real feel you really grow an emotional bond towards the characters in the game that's what ratchet and clank was able to do and it also did it really well so these two games are very comparable in that way that there's certain elements that they just do extremely well so if you're into platforming games jack and daxter the precursor legacy or even any of the other games in the franchise is definitely worth a look in my opinion they are without a doubt some of the greatest platforming games ever created and quite rightly so and when you think of this game came off the back of the success of the iconic crash bandicoot trilogy seen on the playstation and the same developers would later go on to create the iconic uncharted series also on the playstation which for me hands down is one of the greatest gaming series of all time not only does it look beautiful visually even by today's standards but it's got some of the best storytelling and acting i've ever seen in a game plus at the same time it's funny as hell so that's one of the things that they, these games really do get right is their mix between action and humor they just get it down to a t so if that's the type of game that you're into and that's the type of experience you want to have then you will definitely have that with these type of games so i definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't done so already and i would love to know your thoughts on jack and daxter with the precursor legacy and what do you think of this classic game so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated on future videos and if you would like to see more content on the channel around other types of 3d platform games similar to this we're also released on the ps2 then check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action and i will see you all in the next one